Did you know that close to a million people die every year in the United States from cardiovascular disease? It's considered still the leading cause of death, which means one person every 34 seconds, or 2,500 people die every day from heart disease. Usually heart disease is a lifelong process, so the risk factors for heart disease start at a very early age. And there are many modifiable risk factors that, if intervened early, could prevent these conditions. Obstructive sleep apnea remains the most underdiagnosed and overlooked condition that contributes to heart disease, as I mentioned on a recent video. Today I want you to get familiarized with home sleep testing for sleep apnea and two of the most common used treatments so that you can do something about it. If you suspect the sleep apnea, then there are options for you to be diagnosed on a very simple fashion because the technology allows you to be tested at home. In the United States, effective home sleep testing was actually approved in 2008, and since many devices have come on the market. Home sleep testing is not for everybody. So this is a washpad device. It is one of the most advanced devices used to test for obstructive sleep apnea. It is where one night, a device that goes over your wrist, disposable sensor on your finger, and a small sensor on your chest. There is nothing on your nose or your face. You can sleep just the way you usually sleep at home. And it gives a ton of information, including sleep efficiency, how much you sleep per night, what is the quality of your sleep, different sleep stages. It even gives you information about what position you slept on, and of course, how many obstructions you had if you happen to have a sleep apnea. There are many other devices. This is just a small example, you know, some rings that are even smaller and very simple to use. In certain cases, can be very effective diagnosing a sleep apnea. So if you're diagnosed with a sleep apnea, what, what you ask your doctor? The first question is, how severe is the sleep apnea? Apnea is usually classified as mild, moderate, or severe, depending on how many times you hold your breath per hour. The second important question is, is affecting the severity of my sleep apnea? Many patients, when they're on their side, sleep apnea severity decreases to a level that perhaps is not significant, and that opens a therapeutic window that we call position modification. But let's say you have moderate or severe sleep apnea, you have significant loss of oxygen, so in those cases, you are going to need something more advanced. CPAP was invented in Australia in 1981, and it was introduced in the U.S. market in 1985. So this is the oldest kid on the block. CPAP has been in the United States for 40 years, and nowadays, the Devices are small, they're quiet. Usually the most effective and most efficient way to treat a sleep apnea. There's no treatment that works as effective as CPAP, even in severe sleep apnea cases. Another option for sleep apnea treatment is something called a mandibular advancing device. These are devices on the, that are hands of dentists that are certified, that have expertise to manage sleep apnea. And what mandibular advances, advancing devices do, they basically displace your jaw forward during sleep. So by displacing the jaw forward, the open space on the back of the throat creates tension, and of course, uh, apnea improves. A snoring usually disappears. Snoring goes kaput, no more snoring, no noise. So, you know, perhaps make your wife or your husband a little happier and you should expect usually rapid results. It's quieted if you use correctly. Uh, it's not, you know, that important at the beginning, but if you put effort, two Ps that I always uh, mention to my patients. Patience and perseverance. Understand that this is an investment for your life and for your health that you might not see, you know, in the, but in the long run is greatly beneficial. Um, there are types of masks. I'm gonna put one on, one of the ones that is not that intrusive so that you have an idea of how a CPAP mask looks. This one is CPAP with a nasal pillow system. Not too bad. Some might say not very sexy, but way, way sexier snoring and choking and kicking and gasping all night.
um, this goes with a hose with the zip up which is the flow generator I show on my video where the obstruction happens with the sleep apnea which is you know on the, the throat and it is extremely effective because the air column on the back of the throat splints the airway open there are even travel devices to make it more friendly as you go through the phone lines of uh, TSA um, so I want to keep uh, an open mind uh, there's a lot of misconceptions regarding how difficult CPAP is uh, it can be a very rewarding experience, you know, for not starting your day already tired, already fatigued, it makes it way harder to pull through life. Um, risk of acting with drowsy driving is also a big factor. So I invite you to keep your mind open. Look at my prior video where I explain a little bit better, you know, symptoms and uh, the connection with cardiovascular disease. Thank you for watching this video.